Hi, welcome back to Solarization 6 as Coupe. So, when we last left off, I was just about to start what might be one of the best Petra locations I've ever seen. There are 15 desert hills in range of this style. So, if I could build a Petra here, this could potentially be an amazing city, even though I'm getting started on it pretty late. And the Petra is still out there, Obviously, I need to build up this city at least a little bit first. So let's buy a granary, the monument, and I can bring a builder here to improve a few tiles. Probably buy the dice. I will need a few growth tiles. So let's also get the tobacco. And I'll send the builder right away. And we'll try to get some population. And then I'll try to build Petra. Should be doable, no one is really competing for it at the moment. They would have built it long time ago. And we can hard build the water mill, that's fine. I'm also going to need a few campuses, because I'm a little bit behind in science, and if I want to go to war with Scythia, they are actually the tech leader at the moment. And they are five techs ahead of me. So that's not great. Let's just build some campuses. There you go. Plus two is not amazing, but I can turn it into a plus three, and that's decent enough. Uh, this could also be a campus. Uh, no, let's get the unique building here. That will give me more culture. I got one last charge on the hero. Yeah, let's just get one more envoy in Granada. And that's that. We got one more city coming up, which is going to be down here. Now, there is a little bit of loyalty pressure, so I might start it slightly further to the east, like over here or so. I will still have everything that matters in range, so I think that's decent enough. The alternative would be, let's say, here. That would also be okay. I would miss out on whales, but I could potentially get this one. And also fish over here and here. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. And I could also control this area, potentially, if I ever need it. Yeah, I think this spot will be better, actually, right here, this exact tile. We'll have two luxuries in range. Well, three if we count whales. Four, actually. Yeah, that's good, I like that. Alright, let's try to explore Scythia's territory a little bit. Can I actually get open borders with them? I should be able to. Yeah, I can. Would be nice to know what we're up against exactly. And I did queue up a spy in my capital. So I need to know where to send him other than this one city. Actually, yes, I did queue up a spy. And then the quadrium. We do have a second university coming up soon, so that will boost printing. And there's our next golden age. Your opinions are always and also enlightenment. And usually so now I could take liberalism and also maybe rationalism as well. And now I could take two arms. If I plan to go to war with Scythia, which I do, but I'm going to need a bigger army. Because right now, I don't really have much of an army. <laughs> I definitely need some siege units. It would be good to rush flight, if I'm going to do it. Yeah, I could actually rush flight fairly reliably. I'll have to research square rigging the hard way, because it's unlikely I'll be able to kill a unit with a musket man in the near future. But I do think... Two arms is a good choice here, because that will also give me a boost to military unit production. And I don't need a bigger military, like I already said. Monumentality is not a choice anymore in industrial era. So let's get two arms. With that said, I'm not declaring war just yet. But soon. Well, by soon I mean by the end of this era. <laughs> so. This is the time frame. I have that much time. Unless I get another Golden Age again. Which I might, but 
it's a little bit too early to think about that right now. Okay, so let's see. If I'm going to declare war, I need nationalism. Now, I could boast it, so that's an option. Not a bad idea. Let's start researching it first. I can boast it by declaring war with Golden HCB. I just don't necessarily want to declare war before I'm ready, for obvious reasons. Okay, so this could be another campus, but it should probably be a workshop. And the boost production in here a little bit. It's basically capped on housing already. Okay, I'm out of charges here, and this hero cannot fight. So I guess that's that. So now I can get a few fisheries. I just need to buy some tiles. Uh, hold on, which policies do we have? I do have land surveyors still. So let's take advantage of that. Get some fisheries. Should probably grab all of them while I'm here. I mean, I don't have that much gold, but I'm making 136 per turn. So let's buy one more tile. And now I don't need retainers anymore because liberalism will be better. And not much better right now, but I'm working on more districts. So it is better. Now I could actually replace scripture because I don't think it's worth it anymore. Sure, I lost some production in my capital, but my capital has very good production already. And I'd rather free up that slot. I will keep Servdom because I still need some builders. I don't necessarily need land surveyors right now. Okay, I need more campuses to make rationalism worth it. And I need more cities with population 15 or higher. Natural philosophy would actually give me more science right now, which doesn't mean it's worth it. I mean, trade confederation would also give me for science, for culture. Neither is worth it right now. So, yeah, I don't need one more policy regardless. What should that be? I don't think caravansaries are worth it. Not really. Yeah, I might just pick up trade confederation, at least for now. Or I could keep scripture, but I don't think scripture is worth it at the moment. It's only plus six production, basically. I could also help out my spy, because he's coming. That's not a terrible idea. Let's get that at least temporarily. I could probably get rid of charismatic leader as well. So, okay, let's get rid of charismatic leader here. And then we can get one more policy. So, I'm actually kind of leaning towards trade confederation. It's not a whole lot of science and culture, but it's a little bit. And I will have more trade routes coming. Could also go for this one. Yeah, actually, I think this will be more helpful. More food and more production. Because this also works with the city-states, not just with other AIs. Yep, sounds good. I will keep land surveyors for now, because I still need that. So, that's that. Alright, well, nothing I can do with the hero anymore, because that one cannot fight. Let's see. Okay, so let's improve these, because I will need the yields. And this was going to be the exact city location, right here. I'll have to grab these tiles before Dido does. One of the reasons I kept land surveyors. And let's explore Scythia land. That spy is coming. They're sprinting. Now, Scythia is the tech leader right now. So hopefully that means I will be able to steal some tech boss. Okay, hold on. Minus 20 now. That's a bit of a problem. I could probably maintain loyalty anyway. Yeah, that's from the 15 population city nearby. So that's not great. I might actually still settle over here. 
yeah, that seems like a better idea. Kind of weird that there's no loyalty penalty here. It's not the best spot, because I'll miss out on some resources. But it would be safe in terms of loyalty. So in that sense, it might be a little bit better. I could also go for the minus 14 tile. That should be fine. But again, not an ideal location. But certainly better than this one down here. Minus 14 should be fine. The only problem is that I might have to switch my policies around. We'll see. Should be doable. Okay, so there's the university. Let's see, I wouldn't mind another holy site or two, but I need a better bonus. Industrial zone, plus one. Oh yeah, theater square. It's only going to be plus one, but I need more theater squares. Especially in a city like this. So, let's go for it. Yeah, library for more science. And then, for our research, square rigging. Because I need that for industrialization, and I'll need industrialization for flight. Flight will take a while, unfortunately, but I need time to prepare anyway. So, works for me. At least for now. All right, then. Anything else? Yeah, two food, then we'll get the tobacco, and then probably one of these. We'll see. Uh, okay, more fisheries, and one more over here. Yeah, like I said, the hero will not be very useful anymore. Which is fine. I got enough value out of that one. Yosemite Valley. And we found the natural wonder. Okay. Well, that's a nice one. And we got a great scientist. Uh, yeah, this is a nice one. Uh, hold on, I just started a library in one of my cities. So I could use him here. I could also use him like in one of these. But they will take 18 and 22 turns to finish that. I think we're better off popping him in this city, because I can pop him right away. Uh, I could get a Colossus. Uh, that's a nice wonder, especially considering I have also Minerva. 18 turns is not too bad. Let's give it a shot. I might be able to get that. Sounds reasonable. So, move the scientist. Off you go. That will be a nice instant science boost. Uh, hold on, I need to move the builder first. <laughs> Here you go. Okay, done. You can just chill in a city. Yep. Okay, one more fishery. And go grab that tobacco. Okay, still a minus 14. I just need to hurry up and grow that city a little bit. Once it gets more population, it should be fine. Although it might be a little bit close. And I'm going to need like an inquisitor or so to convert it. Where are my holy sites again? I did build one other than in my capital. I think I got one under construction right now. Yeah, I had one under construction. Somewhere? Yeah, right here. Uh, that's close enough. But I'll need to wait. That should be fine, though. Only four turns to finish the holy site itself. Oh, hold on, but this city doesn't have my religion. So I'll have to send an inquisitor from my capital, basically. Okay, fine, I guess we'll do that. Whatever. No problem. So this is the closest city. That might be a little bit tricky. I might need a navy to take this one. At least some help from a navy. Because even with Observation Balloon, I will only be able to attack it with one artillery at a time. 
that makes it a little bit tough. So let's send the spy to Scythia, obviously. Uh, where's Scythia here? Right here. So I don't really have much of a choice. I have to go here. I mean, I don't have to, but I would like to try stealing some tech boss. So let's give that a shot. Maybe I can get something useful. That would be the general idea. Wait, what? Really? Rebellion in 13 turns? Are you kidding me? Okay then. Uh, well, I guess I'll have to switch some of my policies. Let's grab a naval tradition really quick, or mercantilism. I could pay to change my policies, but I'd rather not do that if I don't have to. The city is about to grow, so it should be fine in theory. I could also send a governor. Probably a good idea, yeah. Not that I have a lot of them, but that's going to be Magnus. He doesn't exactly have anything better to do. Magnus it is then. Off you go. And then I guess I can send Liang here. I can get a few nice fisheries in that city. So that's what we'll do. Shame I can't fight by builders anymore. <laughs> I could actually use that right about now. Alright, so that will improve my science quite a bit. That was a nice scientist to get. Definitely. World Congress. What's happening? Yeah, this is probably going to be city center. That's what the AI usually votes for. Spies executing the chosen operation function two levels higher. Let's vote for steel tech boost. And I'll actually spend some diplomatic favor for this one. Okay, here. I'm willing to spend that much. We'll still have a fair bit left. There it is. Nice. It passed. I didn't need that many votes, but I wanted to make sure. And the yep, city center, building production boost. There's some era score. Our first quadrium. Yep. Well, our first seafaring unit. On turn 178. Hey, better late than never, right? Okay, so next up, uh, yeah, probably archaeological museum. That's what I'm thinking. I'll need that to boost natural history. Yep. So let's just grab that. It's only five turns. I don't think I'm going to use that quadrium right now. But hey, I can turn it into something better later, once I get the relevant tech. Uh, yeah, that's the temple. Uh, I would consider buying the Gurdwara, but I think I'm going to need a few more Inquisitors and such. I will need at least one more for sure. So let's get one more. And I'll just build it. Or we can build a campus? Yeah, let's build it. 12 turns is not that bad. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Three more builds, so fishery. I'm not moving yet, although I should move ASAP. Minus 14 penalty is pretty brutal. Technically, I could wait three more turns to get the policies, but I wanted the city to start gaining population as soon as possible. It doesn't have any like real good growth tile in range. Let's actually just wait three turns. I don't want to risk. There, okay. Free food. Working that. Looking good now. But we'll need some population growth faster. Yeah, let's wait three turns to switch the policies. I don't want to risk the city flipping. Okay, might as well send the crossbowman back and explore on the way. And I should probably grab this guy as well. It's not like he's useful in this city. Not really, he's not. And I'll need some fisheries in this city as well. But that will have to wait, I think. Because I'll need at least one more governor for loyalty purposes. So that was my unique building. Now I could grab an art museum. 
or just work on some more districts. Now, I will need an encampment somewhere, because I need at least one to be able to get military engineers. But I still want more science. Because, like I said, Scythia is currently the tech leader. 101 science per turn. I thought she had more than that. Oh, wait, she's not the leader anymore. Okay. Uh, but she does have 38 techs. And I have 33. So, she's 5 techs ahead of me, but I just want to catch up a little bit. Because she probably focused on military techs. If I had to guess. Plus 2 holy side. Yeah, let's just grab a campus here. There we go. Won't be an amazing one, but it's good enough. There's the holy side. So, I think that's it as far as fisheries go. Uh, we can get one more right here. Okay. Uh, what's this industry? Plus 30% production towards military units in the host city. Well... Well, this city could potentially take advantage of that in the future, if I can get Petra. And it will also help in terms of yields. I'm going to grab that. I could actually use the yields from this tile. So, there we go. Because I'll need some production and population in here in order to be able to build Petra in a reasonable time frame. Unless I can get an engineer who will boost my wonder production. Yeah, that's not the next one. Maybe the one after that. It might be worth saving up faith for that. To get an engineer who would complete that Petra for me. Because that will be an amazing Petra. That's like 15 desert hills. Some of them with bonus resources. I want it for sure. Okay, I think I've seen enough here. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit tricky. I'll have to think about this. I'll have to use a fleet. I think that's pretty obvious. I won't be able to take that city with a single artillery. And then again, it doesn't even have city walls yet for some reason. But by the time I'm ready to declare war, it probably will. <laughs> I like how they have a warrior core. What the heck is that supposed to be? Well, whatever flows her boat. Okay, one more build. Uh, let's get some production then, because I'll need that as well. One more fishery. Uh, one more turn. Let's just play it safe. I don't want any surprises. Okay, 13 turns to get the Colossus. Hopefully we'll get that. Aid request? Sure, we can vote for that. Doesn't matter too much. We got square rigging and we got mercantilism. So, first let's check the next civic. Uh, civil engineering. Statue of Liberty, skyscrapers, public works. And then I'll need that for urbanization too. I could also do like a few more turns of nationalism, but I will be waiting to boost nationalism. And I can make use of civil engineering faster. Now we can start the city. That might be the last city I will be starting myself in this game. Okay, minus 11. That should be fine. So, right here. And then I should be able to have a canal here if I build one. Well, I mean, it's not really needed. It's not much of a canal. Now we can buy the monument. And probably buy the granary as well. To make it grow faster. And buy the cocoa. Because I need a tile the city can grow from. That fits the bill. And probably the other one as well. It's a little bit expensive, but I need that. So there you go. And then I'll need a builder here. But that will have to wait. And I need to move a governor. That will obviously have to be Liang because there isn't really any other choice. Before I do that, I could get one more fishery. If I sell something. I'm sure somebody is buying. Let's sell some niter because I'm capped anyway. And maybe iron as well. 12. Oh, he doesn't have a lot of gold. But let's get gold per turn anyway. Let's get as much as he will give us. 
so we'll find out how much that's going to be. Okay. One less. No? That's not acceptable? Okay. Interesting. It was acceptable just a moment ago. Okay, then. Uh, that's a little weird. There we go. Done. Next, give me my money. Uh, she will buy some resources. Okay, fine. Uh, hold on, let's sell some luxuries. Looks like that's a much better idea. I assume she's buying. Let's go with that. Okay, yeah, she's buying. Mm -hmm. That is a really good deal for just free luxury resources. So there's our gold. Here you go. Next, Vietnam. I don't have citrus, so sell all that. I assume she will pay. Okay, maybe not all that. Uh, she's paying less than 100 per luxury. Okay. Hopefully not much less. Interesting. Okay, fine. I'll still take it. And finally, our last ally. He has way more money here. Let's see. I hope he's buying all that. Uh, yes, he is. And maybe also some strategic resources. Yep. I'm going to keep my nighter because I'll need that for actual units. So, yeah. Okay, at least 700. Okay. Uh, good enough. Done. Now we have way more money. And now we can move Liang to our new city. Here you go. Looks good. Doesn't look like I even need any loyalty policies. But I could pick up colonial offices. Let me check which cities exactly are not on our original continent. So this is my original continent, Colombia. Okay, yeah, see, this is still Colombia. So this city would not benefit from that. Yeah, that's not worth it. And this is also Colombia. So no point picking that up. Definitely not. I could pick up Praetorium. That's an option. And get rid of this. Probably a good idea. Or get rid of land surveyors, but I'm still going to need land surveyors. Unless I just buy a bunch of tiles right now. And then get rid of land surveyors. So let's control this area here, get the luxuries. Uh, I could get the whales over here. I might need money for unit upgrades as well. <laughs> I don't want to spend everything, but this would be some food once I improve it. Whales might be better though. Okay, here, let's do it like this. That also gives me a good production tile. Anything else we want to buy? Uh, the crabs? I don't think that's worth buying right now. Any tiles over here? I can wait 11 turns or I can just buy that. Okay, I'll just buy it. And then the builder can improve that. And that's it. I don't think I'm buying any other tiles. So now we can get rid of land surveyors, at least temporarily. I probably don't need conscription all that much. That's only saving me 9 gold per turn. Instead, I could pick up drill manuals. Since I'm going to need niter, and this would also make me some money indirectly, because I can keep selling niter. That seems like a much better plan right now. And then we can get some other economic policy. A black triangular trade. Now that's probably worth it at this point. And now I could pick up scripture again because I finished that other holy site. So let's get that. Now it's probably worth it. This is the other holy site and it's a pretty good one. Yeah, that's uh, right. I need to convert it first. 
So that's fine. We don't have Inquisitors on the way. They are not super far away. Yeah, they are close enough. We'll get there. But it will take slightly longer than the game is saying. It will not be seven turns. It will be more than that. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking walls might be a decent idea. Or we'll just start a district. How good would the holy side be? Plus one. Not that great. A preserve would be good, but 45 turns for a preserve is a little bit too much. A harbor is a decent idea. Let's just get walls. I'll feel a little bit safer here with walls. It's not that close to Scythia, but it's a little bit isolated. So I wouldn't be able to help that city very easily. And the walls do not take long to build anyway. We got the coal reveal coming up. Hopefully I have it. I do have a fair bit of territory, but not that much. So we'll find out whether we have it or not. And I'll keep an eye on loyalty. It should be mostly fine. I'll just need some growth in these cities. We got, okay, Admiral and the Merchant. I will get the Merchant because I need Merchants for corporations, even though I don't have the technology yet, but we are getting close. As for the Admiral, uh, that's not a bad one. Okay, that's not a terrible one. I think I'll grab him. Okay, I'll grab him. And I might use him for a while. Uh, there's the water mill. Now, I could just get started on Petra right away. But that would take maybe a little bit too long. Still, I can just place it and get started. If I send a few trade route from this city, that would speed it up. And then I could pick up skyscrapers. That's reasonable. I just need to finish civil engineering. Then I can get skyscrapers. That's the plan. So now I have to go through here. Yeah, we'll get there quickly enough. It's fine. Okay then. Yeah, there's the Admiral. He can chill in the capital for now. And once I finish that archaeological museum, I can get started on some military production. It's about to finish. There, so that gives us natural history boost. I could build Forbidden City, but I really don't have the time for that right now. And I should really build a government plaza, even like a really bad one. Like down here, that's industrial zone and theater square. Let's just build it, because I seriously need to get one by now. And it will only take two turns. I'm okay doing that. Let's go. Want to take advantage of that holy side. One more turn for call reveal. Fingers crossed. You know my luck with strategic resources. Or lack of it. Let's see. Apparently Vietnam is paranoid. I just noticed that. Natural disaster occurring. Uh, interesting location for a hurricane. It's actually pretty close to my city. Uh, we don't have coal. We have a grand total of one source. Uh, well, okay, I should probably grab that instead. And buy this style? Because then I can work it in the Petra city. So let's go with that. There we go. Okay, that is actually a very nice style. Let's see. Next up. Right, astronomy. I will be building a university next to a mountain eventually, but that will take a little bit too long. Yeah. And it's only four turns to research astronomy. Let's just do that. Okay, uh, well, temple. Still waiting for the inquisitors to get there, but they are getting there. And let me check great people real quick. Yeah, once the AI gets this engineer, hopefully the next one 
will be able to boost my Wonder production. And then I can use that to boost Petra. That would be the plan, which is why I'm saving up faith for now. I could also get the building in the Government Plaza that would allow me to fade by military units. That's probably what I should do at this point. I am getting more than 100 faith per turn, which is pretty decent, all things considered. I didn't focus on holy sites that much. Yeah, that's definitely a good plan. But will give me an army much faster than actually recruiting it myself would. So there's the government plaza. Yeah, the factory can wait. How much to buy it? A bit expensive, but... Uh, okay, so this should probably be Warlord's Throne. I definitely don't really need Ancestral Hall anymore. I could get Audience Chamber, but that's minus two loyalty in cities without governors. I'm not a huge fan of that part. And I do plan to go to war with Scythia. So Warlord's Throne should be worth it. Okay, yeah, let's get Warlord's Throne. Uh, one more Governor title. I don't need another Governor. That should be Victor, since I plan going to war anyway. Victor just makes sense. Okay, Victor. I'll want Victor sooner or later anyway. Might as well just grab him now. Yep, I am losing some loyalty here. That should be fine, because the city is growing. I just need it to grow, you know, a bit faster. And I still need some amenities, but there's no luxury that I can buy from anyone. Let's keep selling some Niter here. Apparently he's not paying that much. And then again, I didn't offer him too much. Okay, 10. How much will you pay me? Okay, 60 gold. 70 gold. Fine. There you go, done. Let's keep going. I want to convert this city first, because that's the holy side. So I want my production bonus. Obviously. Okay then. Oh, and I'm going to need professional army. So maybe once we finish civil engineering because I don't have a few units I need to upgrade. Including the squad room over here. That would be nice. And the pikemen. So there's that. We got economics boost, and I will need economics ASAP to get my corporations. I have two great merchants just waiting. And I might have to just buy a builder here. It's a little bit expensive, but I don't have the time to wait for one. And yeah, I need more loyalty here. I might have to get a loyalty policy just temporarily. Probably. Yeah, unique building, obviously. Uh, there's the workshop, so factory next. Get my coal. Nice, that's a nice style right there. Two food, seven production. And only 22 turns to build Petra. This city will be amazing with Petra. I will be so mad if someone beats me to it. Okay, no engineer yet. I will be really mad if someone beats me to it this early, or this late into the game. Because if they were going to build it, they would have built it long time ago. Okay, we got civil engineering. So that also gives me skyscrapers. I will grab that. I'm keeping scripture, I'm keeping liberalism. I probably don't need this anymore. So... Let's see. How about that loyalty policy? We can get rid of drill manuals and pick up... where was it? It's somewhere in here. Uh, too many military policies. Wait, do I not have that anymore? Okay, wait. Apparently I don't? Okay, I don't remember when exactly you lost that. No, it's right here, you don't lose it. That's plus 8 total. And then, one more economic policy. So, hold on. Uh, 
yeah, see, there's no point getting... Uh, where was it? Uh, the other continent thing. Because these two cities are not on a different continent. Let's get skyscrapers to speed up Petra. And then we have one more wildcard policy slot. So I could pick up Praetorium just temporarily to make sure loyalty will be fine. This wouldn't be my first choice, but I just need it temporarily. Okay, this looks fine. I mostly only need skyscrapers to build Petra faster. So that's 19 turns. It will actually be faster because the city is still growing. Uh, next up, I do need a few more turns in nationalism. So let's do that. We got a governor title, so researcher. Wait, where's Pingala right now? Opango. Yeah, uh, I should move Pingala elsewhere. To my capital, obviously. Okay then. Off you go. And promote. So let's go for the signs. Okay, so there's the Warlord's Throne. Now we can get Grandmaster's Chapel. That way I will be able to use Faith to buy units. Sounds good. I still need to build an encampment somewhere. <laughs> I might just build an encampment in my capital. Like over here or whatever. Yeah, we'll see. I might do that. Uh, wait, no, I can't build it here. But I might build it somewhere. I'm not sure where exactly. We'll see. It's not really a big problem. And now, let's speed up Petra a little bit with a trade route. Oh, really? You're setting an apostle? Uh, also, alliance has expired. Yeah, okay, that wasn't enough for a full conversion. Let's get the alliances again. Uh, that should be cultural alliance with Dido, but I could get cultural alliance with him. That would actually be more helpful because I'm getting more loyalty pressure from him. I don't actually need cultural alliance with Dido anymore. Yeah, okay, this works. Cultural alliance. Then we can get research alliance with Congo or whatever. Or with Dido, that works too. But Congo is further behind in science. And then economic with Dido. I don't think I will be sending a lot of trade routes to her because I have also Minerva. But it's always an option. Let's get a few fisheries and then improve the luxuries. Or it should have been other way around. Now I probably don't need these policies anymore. Ironically enough. Yeah, I almost definitely don't need them anymore. But, okay. Yeah, 27 rising. So let's switch research. I could do divine right in one turn and then switch my policies around. Sounds good, let's do that. More conversion. There we go, done. So now we will benefit from scripture. That's going to be, yeah, plus 8 production, which is pretty nice. So that gives the city reasonably decent production, and we will improve it further. Uh, that's the campus. So more research, like I said. That's the Gurdwara. I could grab an encampment here. Only 18 production, though. Industrial zone would be better. Also a theater square. No river, so commercial hub will not be amazing. We could grab a harbor. You know, for another trade route and more gold. 15 turns for a harbor, though. Well, actually, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did to denounce the YouTube algorithm as its tradition. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.